All right, what's up YouTube? Um, today we have a video tutorial on changing a broken USB port on an HP Pavilion DV60 3000 laptop. So I've had this computer for about three years now. I purchased this back in 2010 and it started to show signs of deterioration. So I think it's about time to change a few components and make a few upgrades. So notice that the first thing that I did is basically take the battery out and then unscrew the back panel careful in this portion since the screws tend to wear out easily and once you open the back side the first thing that will show up is your hard drive so just be careful with disconnecting it from your motherboard I think it, it's using SATA connection so it's not that hard to unplug and then take out a few more screws there should be like a few dozen on your computer, so uh, be careful where you place them. This is gonna take a while since I'm er, I'm not familiar with how many screws there are on my computer, so just be careful with. Yeah, this is pretty much like your critical part. Then what you're gonna do next is take out a few more components. So here I'm trying to pop off my optical drive since you don't want you, you don't want that to get in the way. It just adds weight to the computer if you're working on it. You want to expose the motherboard and disassemble a few parts as much as you can. And now I'm in the process of taking off the keyboard and make sure that the touchpad is disconnected from the motherboard. And do the same thing with your power switch. So on the left side, on the left lower portion of your screen is basically the mechanism of how your keyboard and your touchpad and your fingerprint scanner maybe if you have one are connected to your motherboard. So I'm just taking out my new USB port from the package or before that I'm taking video of it. I'm classic the white part. Slowly pull out the cable and do the same thing with your keyboard as mentioned earlier. Uh, I got my USB port from eBay, and you can always get functioning used parts from eBay or New Egg or even Amazon, and I think it's a good resource. So that's my broken USB port, and I'm just gonna change it. And the new one. It should be straightforward. There should be like holes where you can uh, insert your USB ports and other components. So um, if I can do it, then anyone could basically do the same thing. So I'm just connecting the USB port back into the motherboard using the cable and the wide clasp thing. Sure that everything fits perfectly. And it has compressed air to just uh, blow out the dust. Okay, so perfect time to clean out your insides. And I'm basically starting to put things back together. Make, make, just make sure that everything fits perfectly and that all the edges line up and 
what I'm doing here is basically I'm reattaching my touchpad back into the motherboard. Do the same thing with the power switch. Just connect the power button to your motherboard. They all connect the same way. The largest cord will be your, or I guess the largest cable would be your keyboard since it has so many inputs. And there you have it. You just put your hard drive and your optical drive back in place. if the USB works. I'm gonna stick in a USB flash drive and I should recognize it. light flashes and the hard drive recognizes your new gadget new device and um, I have a Kingston 64 gigabyte flash drive so if you're familiar with the icon there you have it and there you go so that's basically how you repair and replace your USB port on your HP Pavilion laptop if you have any questions and comments, just put them down below, and thanks for watching.